Ever since the Big Bang Theory was presented in 1931, it's been the most influential and well-accepted theory that explains the formation and evolution of our universe. However, according to the recent discoveries by the James Webb Space Telescope, this theory might be wrong. When we think of how the universe was formed, we always refer to the Big Bang Theory as it's the most widely accepted theory of the universe's existence and evolution. This theory, proposed by Belgian physicist Georges Lemaitre, explained that the universe existed in a state of extreme density and temperature 13.8 billion years ago. It was so hot and dense that even atoms couldn't exist there, and everything was compressed into a point of infinite density and temperature called singularity. This singularity started to expand rapidly, and this is called the Big Bang. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion, if that's what you're thinking, but rather a sudden stretch of space and time. As the universe was expanding, it started cooling down as well, which led to the creation of subatomic particles called electrons, protons, and neutrons. These subatomic particles, when combined, created atoms, and after cooling for hundreds of thousands of years, transformed into stars and galaxies with the help of gravity. The Big Bang Theory started gaining recognition after the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiations in 1965, which favored the theory. Apart from the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation, other evidence over the years has proven the credibility of this theory time and time again, making it one of the most widely accepted theories of all time. This widely accepted theory is challenged by the findings from one of the most advanced astronomical observatories, the James Webb Space Telescope. The telescope is a project of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, also known as NASA, which is the successor of another successful space telescope called the Hubble Space Telescope. The James Webb Telescope is said to be the largest optical telescope in the world that's equipped with high-resolution and high-sensitivity instruments that allows it to view objects several light years behind. Its infrared range allows it to cut through cosmic dust clouds and study the early universe. This is possible with the help of JWST's primary mirror, which is made out of beryllium metal and then coated with 24 karat gold. The telescope was developed primarily to study the formation and evolution of galaxies by studying the most distant and faintest galaxies. The telescope's ability to target infrared and mid-infrared rays allows it to study exoplanets, which are planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. The telescope would also allow scientists to study the Big Bang Theory and prove its credibility. Ever since the telescope was launched into space in September 2021, it sent back some really exciting data. NASA has released a bunch of images on their website taken by the James Webb Space Telescope for people to download and study. The first image they released looked like dust mountains, but instead it's the Carina Nebula, which reveals the areas of a star's birth for the first time. The second image they released is called the Stephens Quintet, which represents five galaxies that are about to collide. The third image represents the Southern Ring Nebula sending dust cloud signals for thousands of years. The fourth image is called the WASP-96b, which represents a sign of water along with traces of clouds and haze around a hot and puffy gas planet. The fifth image released by Webb is called the SMAX-0723, which is the cleanest image of the first galaxy that's 13 billion light-years away. More recently, astronomers have discovered something unexpected while studying the evolution of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has revealed six massive galaxies several light-years away. These galaxies existed between 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang. The astounding thing about these galaxies is that they were created half a billion years after the Big Bang and were significantly larger than the Milky Way galaxy. This discovery is challenging the existing theories about the origins and evolution of galaxies. With the sighting of these six massive galaxies existing before the Big Bang, many scientists and experts have provided their views on the matter. Michio Kaku, a renowned physicist and science writer, talked avidly on this topic and what it means for our understanding of the universe. During an interview, Michio Kaku explained how this latest discovery by the James Webb Telescope is challenging the Big Bang Theory, which is the basis of our understanding of the universe. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. 
That shouldn't happen. Famous astrophysicist and science communicator Neil deGrasse Tyson has also talked about and expressed his concerns as to how this discovery could completely disrupt our understanding of the universe. All right, so now let's tune the telescope in to galaxies being born. And oh my gosh, who ordered this? We're finding galaxies in the Dark Ages. These six galaxies detected by the James Webb Space Telescope date to a time when our universe was only 3% of its current age and appear to be way larger than what was presumed to be possible for galaxies so early after the Big Bang. Joel Leha, assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State University, explained the size of these galaxies and how this is challenging our understanding of the universe. These objects are way more massive than anyone expected. We expected only to find tiny, young, baby galaxies at this point, but we've discovered galaxies as mature as our own in what was previously understood to be the dawn of the universe. Leha explained that the discovery of these ancient galaxies from the James Webb Telescope was really unexpected because the observatory was developed to study small, blue, baby galaxies at early times. However, while studying the images from the Webb Telescope, it was observed that there were distant stars emitting a red glow. Young stars emit a bright blue, and with time, as they burn through their fuel and cool down, they emit a dark glow. Astronomers weren't expecting to see these reddish dots, let alone the ones with such massive mass. Another intriguing discovery from the James Webb Telescope shows the presence of more efficient star formation mechanisms in certain galaxies. The high-resolution imaging capabilities of the telescope allow astronomers to detect galaxies with an unusual high rate of star formation or exhibit unique star formation processes. If these attributes exist, then it can be deduced that more efficient mechanisms are at work. These mechanisms could involve interactions between galaxies, the influence of dark matter, or other astrophysical phenomena that enhance the formation of stars. A key factor in star formation is the presence of cosmic dust. These dust grains are spread all over the galaxies and provide ideal conditions for molecular clouds to cool and collapse. Radiations are absorbed and re-emitted by these dust grains, which allow the surrounding gas to cool down and facilitate its condensation into denser regions where stars are formed which later on give rise to galaxies. Black holes can also play a key part in the formation of these ancient galaxies. One way this happens is through galactic mergers, where galaxies collide and their central supermassive black holes merge, which leads to the formation of a bigger black hole. The merged black hole, when interacting with surrounding matter, draws in gas and stars, which triggers activity in the center. This activity in the galactic center can lead to the formation of stars and galaxies. Moreover, the powerful jets of radiation and particles emitting from the black hole can also influence the formation of galaxies. These jets are produced by the accretion of matter on onto the black hole which can impact the surrounding gas and trigger the formation of stars. The discoveries of new galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope have ignited curiosity and excitement in the field of astronomy. Each new galaxy adds to our understanding of the vast and diverse cosmos, unveiling intriguing cosmic phenomena and raising new questions. These discoveries emphasize the need for further observations and detailed spectroscopic data. Spectroscopy allows scientists to analyze the light emitted or absorbed by galaxies, revealing valuable information about their composition, temperature, chemical makeup, and other physical properties. By studying the spectral signatures of these galaxies, researchers can gain insight into their formation, evolution, and the conditions that prevail during their early stages. Scientists and astronomers from all over the world have now shifted their attention toward discovering the origin of these six newly discovered galaxies. They seek to uncover the nature of these galaxies that appeared 500 million years after the Big Bang, but yet have much higher mass than the Milky Way. To reach a conclusive decision, scientists would have to wait for future discoveries and data from the James Webb Space Telescope as well as spectrographs. These findings will not only enhance our understanding of galaxies, but would also shed light on the nature of dark matter, dark energy, and the origin of cosmic structures.